Okay, I'm recording, just so you know. You don't have to be silent, silent. This can be a normal house. Day four? Day four. Hello. Day four. I made it four days in a row. That's pretty good for me. So, today I thought I'd talk about a little bit about one of the hobbies that I'm taking up this year, and it's leather crafting. Um, I've wanted to do it for a long time, watch videos, seen, seen different things, and I got some Amazon gift cards, so I got myself a leather craft tool kit. Um, we went to Tandy Leather today, looked around, starting to get some ideas what I want to do. I'm looking mainly to make passport holders, luggage tags, for our travel business that I talked about yesterday. Um, but that's some of the things I want to do. So today I thought I would do the all famous everybody loves, not really, um, um, unboxing of what I got. So here we go. This is what I got. Simpzia handcraft, homemade DIY leather craft tools. So we'll take a look. See what's in here. Got some paperwork. How to replace blades. Ooh, a template for something. Oh, a key. How to make a key ring. That's cool. And then lots of tools. So I'm going to set this up differently and then we'll take a look at what some of the tools are. Okay, looks like we're going. Got a spacer. Ooh, gold scissors. Stamping kit. Looks like probably a Japanese knife. Edge marking tool. Looks like there's some thread. Oh, there's some more down there. Gold, black. Maybe green, maybe brown. I'm a little bit colorblind, can't tell. And then just a raw. Leather strop. Looks like a ball side. And just a regular marking tool. No idea what that is. I have to figure that out. Oh good, I got two of them. Now I have two things to figure out what they are. So an edge burnisher. Some keychain. I might as well take this out. It kind of goes along with it. So some stamp kits and some different things. A bunch of daubers. needles. I probably won't be using that. It's for marking the edge where you're gonna sew. A skiving tool. A hole punch. It looks like I got two hole punches now that I look into it. Uh, I forget what this is called. It's like a it's like a safety edge skiver. Oh, these are the um, hole punches. So it looks like there's a one, a two, a four, and a six. Probably four millimeter. Oh, another. Rolling punch, oblong punches, don't know if you can see that, for carving, so this is a carving tool, a ruler, an awl, something, 
wax, probably to be used with the uh, strop. Uh, these are corner punches. to make all the corners just different sizes those are nice a nice mallet some finger leathers as needed some emery boards for sanding sides a bone well not really bone it's plastic Bender, an edge, an edger, a couple of metal, metal things. If you know what those are for, let me know because I have no idea. A hole punch, different sizes. Doesn't say what the sizes are, but oh well. Oh, bunch of tools for tooling and stamping. I don't know if I'll get into that. Julia, my wife, thinks I should, but we'll see how good I am at it. I don't think I'm artistic enough. And then one board. So it comes with almost everything I need. I'm going to lay this all out, then we'll take a last look at it. Okay, so just kind of laid everything out so I could see it. Have sort of the stamping tools over here, a lot of different shapes, 20 different ones. Then hole punches, edge oblong sewing punches, skivers, edge bevelers, just not a hundred percent of everything I need. It's a really nice mat underneath it that came with it, probably a self-healing mat for cutting. Um, so getting look, I'm looking forward to getting into this. If you have any tips or suggestions or YouTube channels or anything I should follow to learn more, let me know. I found a couple already online that I really like, but I'm looking forward to getting into this. And once I start doing something, I'll start sharing um, my trials, because that's what I'm doing this year, is learning. So, here we go. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you later.